Paul Fatawira has been through it all. In the twilight years of his playing career, he moved from the NRL to the English Super League and in 2009 suffered a serious mental breakdown. He was arrested for assault and placed in a psychiatric hospital and the thought of suicide arrived when the mental demons would not go away. Fatawira has come out the other side a healthier, stronger man and has now founded Internal Strength where he works as a motivational speaker to share his story to audiences around Australia and New Zealand, an example being at Semi Pro Day last Saturday. Yes, yeah, so I've started my own company, Internal Strength, so I'm in the public speaking sector. I've been very fortunate to be aligned with the NRL and deliver presentations on mental health and wellbeing, but most importantly, share my journey and give it back to these young athletes. As we all know, it's a very demanding sport, rugby league. It's uh, a lot of pressure, so I just gave them my insight in my journey and mental health and wellbeing, but most importantly, how I remain healthy and, and stay I guess, grateful for being alive really and knowing that uh, there is light at the end of the tunnel. As you heard, my presentation, which is my business internal strength, is quite heavy, but I believe that my story can relate to not only our young athletes, but society in general. I've been very fortunate to be able to speak in the public speaking sector, and as we all know, mental health doesn't discriminate. It doesn't matter if you have $10 million in the bank or no dollars in the bank. When mental health gets you, when depression or psychosis or any sort of mental health issue gets you, it gets you. So it's just a matter of giving back and sharing the values and tools that I live by. And you can only take one day at a time. And when you go through depression, you're worried about the past, but hey, the past is gone. You can't bring it back. All you can do is learn from it. And when we're worried about the future, we're not even there yet. So the most precious time is now. So I truly believe in presence, moment awareness, but also understanding that you need the appropriate rest. You need that family support. You need that connection with your friends and family. So, yeah, it's just a matter of sharing the values and tools that I live by every day. By sharing his story, Fatawira is sure to come across people who have or will experience mental illness in their lives. And he hopes his story will allow them to see that it is certainly beatable. He is also extremely grateful to his support network of family and friends of helping him achieve the health he is at now. I'm very grateful to, most importantly, be healthy because your health is your wealth. Without your health, you have nothing. So I'm very grateful every morning I wake up, I'm grateful, but also given the opportunity to share my life story with these young athletes today in, in the New South Wales Interest Cup. And it's all about giving back and, and caring for these young boys because I've walked in these young men's shoes before. So it's just about sharing my knowledge and how I remain healthy and, and living life, really, yeah. For further information on Semi Pro Day, head to www.nswrl.com.au.